about the same time that Illumina was coming on the market, there was a sequencing platform called Iron Torrent. And Iron Torrent was developed by a company called um, Life Technologies, now called Thermo Fisher. And so Life Technologies' Iron Torrent approach had a slightly different um, way of dealing or of detecting the DNA. And it's based off of the same idea. So when you add a new base to the end of the sequence, not only do you get PI, inorganic phosphate off, you also get hydrogen ions released. Okay. So if you release hydrogen ions into a fluid, it means the pH goes down, the fluid becomes more acidic. If you do that with a regular transistor, you can actually detect that change in pH with the transistor. And so Ion Torrent developed a, um, a detection system based off of transistors where you could add the, the DNA into small wells you could add the nucleotides and it would detect the hydrogen ions coming off. And torrent sequencing is still, uh, it's still available, it's still in use. It's not as widely used as Illumina sequencing. It suffers from the problem that if you add multiple A's, then you get, in this case, four hydrogen ions coming off. And so that gives the um, detection system a bit of a, an issue because when you get one base you get a peak when you get two base, bases you get a peak but it's not quite twice as much when you get three bases you get a peak but it's not three times what it was for one and so on and so as you add uh, consecutive bases you, your signal starts degrading okay and so ion torrent runs into the problem of detecting what are called homo polymeric runs. What that means is just a run of the same nucleotide, whether it's A's or T's or G's or C's. Okay, it just has an issue detecting it.